We're doing a manufactured home uh, project here where we're going to put our interlocking stack stone uh, panels onto this home. And uh, this here is uh, uh, the outside uh, corners, uh, the interlocking outside corners. And then uh, what the guys are doing right now is they've snapped a line just below those two ledge caps, one on the left, one on the right, giving us our 24 inches down. We popped the line across there at the top of the hangers, and they're now just installing the hangers. Uh, this particular home, they want the uh, uh, panels to come below the r uh, rim joist there so that the sill on site, when it gets installed, is going to be covered. Um, <clears throat> normally, you're going to install your panel, obviously, at the bottom of the uh, home, and you can screw right through the bottom of the groove area of the panel and not need these hangers. Uh, because the panel is suspended down below the rim joist, uh, we don't have anything to screw to, so we've used these brackets. Now, from this portion on, right when they, they just picked up that corner in the interlocking panel, um, <clears throat> I've left this unedited. The first part, I edited some, you know, some cuts here to show you what we were doing. The reason I've left this unedited is to show you that they're putting on 88 square foot of interlocking panels and 35 foot of cap, uh, the ledge cap, and the whole uh, installation of that takes less than 7 minutes and 45 seconds. 88 square foot in under 8 minutes. Uh, if you take the whole time that we put the ledge caps up there, measured down 24 inches, and popped a line for our straps, and then installed the straps, they had everything installed within 15 minutes. 88 square feet and 35 foot of ledge cap. There's nothing in this industry that parallels this type of product. Uh, this is a 12,000 PSI strong fiber reinforced cement and it's it's weighing in around seven pounds a square foot cultured stone or real rock would exceed well cultured stone is is usually about 15 pounds a square foot and we call it the lickum stickum you know you put one on a time with some thin set and you've got a scratch coat underneath and we don't have any of that here we're actually less expensive material wise than any type of stone that you could find one at a time and yet the speed in which this stuff goes up, the water intrusion issues that are addressed, the scuff and stain resistance, the, the, the list goes on. There's nothing that parallels this particular product. Again, I'm going to apologize for the film here because you see people walking in front of it, the, the camera goes up and down. I left this unedited so that you could see real time, 88 square foot going on in less than seven and, and 45, seven minutes and 45 seconds. It, it was just, I wanted to have a testify, uh, testimony that uh, that was possible. Now this particular house is not just getting a two foot wainscoting across the front. We actually go up above uh, to the left of Skyler, the man on the left, we're gonna go up that whole face up to the gable. Where these three windows are, uh, there's a ledge cap going up and there's no more rock. They're gonna stucco between and around those uh, arch windows that you see there. Right now he's countersinking a hole into the tongue, then pre-drilling so the screw can go right through. And then the next man, Skyler, will actually take a deck screw, three and a half inch deck screw, and actually seat uh, the screw into the panel into a stud. Uh, we found and located all the studs. Uh, at any rate, he's screwing in a deck screw right now. These are exterior deck screws. And usually two screws on the top in the tongue and two screws in the groove in the bottom will hold the panel. If we've got a three, uh, on a five foot run, we can usually get three studs. And that, if you can get them, you grab them. I mean, it's not gonna hurt. Each one of these screws supposedly is holding, you know, 600 pounds. So four screws would be 2,400 pounds uh, of, of ability to hold weight. These panels, uh, well, if it's uh, 10 square foot, they're gonna weigh in around 65, 70 pounds. So we're way overkill here um, as far as, you know, the, the, the sheer strength of these screws being way overkill for what we need. Again, uh, countersink a hole so that the screw head actually seats itself into the tongue area so that the female of the groove coming on top of it, should there be, uh, would have no problem seating onto that tongue. That's why we're countersinking. Now, he's about to uh, put the interlocking corner on. Notice Skyer's pulling that panel out because we've got to kind of bend into that rim joist there and now Sheck put the corner in and now they'll screw it. That's that one side, that's 26 feet long. The returns on each side are eight inches. So, you know, it's, it's uh, the longest section there. The section behind to the right 
that you're going to see them start next is the other portion. But again, we go up this whole house. But for the purpose of this video, I took a, uh, because YouTube only allows us a 10 minute slot, I have just treated this video like it was a wainscoting with the cap. Uh, the ledge cap. Uh, obviously, like where they're standing right now, we're going to be going up that whole wall to the to the gable's top. And the video that you would see preceding this one will show you the rest of the house where they literally rock the whole face of those two pop-outs. And uh, again, there's there's uh, from the time we showed up and unloaded the truck and set up the scaffolding and you know videotaped this we had 11 hours the my two sons Sheck and Skyler were the only people installing on this and there was 11 hours from the time we got there till the time we left that we had this 300 square foot of rock and 35 foot of ledge caps installed boom it was done uh, the gentleman that uh, runs this this uh, mobile home manufacturing said that his guys would normally have taken four days to do this same house so I know that we've uh, expedited the installation you know considerably and we are less in materials than they actually previously spent with the process they use was putting a, a wonder board hardy board on there first screwing that in seaming it then they would take and thin set the rocks on one at a time and that process material wise was actually 1250 a square foot uh, we've we've beat that by about a 250 a square foot price which is a great uh, addition but then the time it takes to install and then if you show chose to access behind that wall you could remove these panels they're not going to uh, you know be something that you couldn't access in the future should you need to so it's kind of a, a neat aspect there these come already stained uh, sealed uh, with a thermoplastic sealer so they're watertight and scuff resistant stain resistance and uh, they come in any color that you would have uh, need of we can customize the colors to whatever you're looking for sizes shapes lengths widths, all that sort of stuff we have an ability to make the length of these panels whatever you need to make your walls uh, you know to fit our panels also that's vertically uh, or horizontally speaking we can make the the lengths that you need we also can make the the heights that you need a case in point is underneath that ledge uh, we all we had to do on this particular one was cut off our t our tongue on the top of the panel and it was two foot right underneath that windowsill there so again we can make adjustments in this particular house above like around the windows we just sent three by five panels so each window basically had uh, a cut uh, we cut the panels to meet the windows and it's it's simply with a regular skill saw as you'll see in the preceding video they're going to start cutting panels around the actual you know windows and and uh, up at the top of the gable uh, we've got gable panels that were just about an inch or two longer so we had some adjustment there if we needed it uh, but they measure and cut that and then install it it's in minutes so um, at this point they've got all of the for sake of this video the wainscoting on and now they're just finishing setting the screws uh, at this point they're going to uh, get the caps on un undo them from the packaging and then just install them in this particular video you're not seeing them actually screw on the caps but the caps get screwed on on in between the grout joints this is a corner end and that's on the right side we also have a left side that works for this it's also tongue and grooved so that uh, well, in this particular case, it's just grooved at the bottom. Uh, going left, after we get past this, uh, this window, you're going to see that they have a, uh, a tongue on top of the cap only because they're going to continue going up the wall. Now, if they weren't going up the wall, we make a cap without the tongue on top, just like these. These don't have a tongue on top because there's no further rock going up. But now that next piece to the left that they're going to install is going to have uh, it's a ledge cap, but it also has a tongue on top because the rock is going to go up further. So there needs an interlocking uh, tongue for the groove that's coming up next. I don't know if you can see in the video, but there is a tongue on top of this panel, uh, on top of this ledge cap, so that the rock going up. But again, we make this same cap without the ledge on top. You can see the ledge uh, has a tongue on top of it. You're not going to see it when the rock goes up because it's hidden. So... That's, like I say, 7 minutes, 45 seconds to install 88 square foot of stone with the 35 foot of ledge caps is unheard of and, again, unparalleled. And uh, if we can be of any assistance to you, just pick up the phone and call the number on the screen there, and we will uh, be glad to serve you.